Hey, what's up, everybody? Alright, so today, um, I guess I'll be going over the differences between, or the similarities between Scratch and then a text-based language, which is Python. Now, there's really not much difference besides there being that you have to type out everything. So, when we are looking at a code like Scratch, or a language program like Scratch, and we see all this, like the if statements, the variables, the, uh, the um, ask and wait one seconds, and, and all of that. All of these can relate to something in other languages, such as this one right here, I have Python. And what I've done here is I've taken my uh, MathCat calculator and I converted it into Python. So when I pull up my my idle here and I run the program itself, it's not graph based, but it is text based, and it pretty much does the same thing as the uh, the Scratch program that I made. So if we just type in plus sign, then we enter our first number, and it's pretty much just like the uh, the original. Now, if you haven't seen the tutorial for this, I'll put a link in the description and possibly an annotation right here. So we go ahead and enter, I guess, the second number. It adds it for us. So it gives us plus number plus number equals certain amount. And then it gives us an option to press enter and continue. Or we can type in a command such as stop to stop the program. Now, when we type in Let's see, let's do enter for one more example. We'll do multiplication. Let's do 8 times 8. 64. Now when we type in stop, it gives me an error. But if I were to go into the file where it's at and start it from there to where it loads in the command prompt, then after doing a problem or two, and then typing in stop, it will close the program. Now how it closes the program, all that is determined by this little code right here. So if C is equal to stop, then perform this, this code. Now what is C? Well C is a variable. We have it listed to zero. This is kind of like in Scratch when you set a variable to zero. This is exactly what it is, but in Python. And print is basically say. So when it prints something, it'll say something. Basically, just like in Scratch. And then if statements in Scratch are just like in Python and other languages. So if something occurs, then let this happen. So if answer is equal to plus sign. Now what is answer? Well answer is a variable. Now how come this isn't up there? Well simply because it needs to be placed in with the input. What is input? Well input is something that we place into the program. So in the Python shell or our idle here, whatever we enter along right here is our considered our input. So if answer so if our answer is equal to whatever the input is, then if the input is the addition sign, then we'll have this occur. And what is this? Well this is our first variable from up here, variable A, which is already set to zero. And then we get it to be set to an int input, and then we enter our first number. What is int? Well, it's simply just like, um, I don't know the true definition of it, but my idea of it, or what I believe it is, is a full number. A simple full number. It's not based on any letters or anything, it's just, just a number. A whole number. So we have an int, input, enter first number. So Let's run this again. So 
So this is what it prints out. So it wants us to enter first number. And that's basically what this is. Now when we press enter, then it will print our a variable. So it will print the value of a plus and then question mark. So it wants us to go ahead and enter the second number, which is located right here. This is a program that does this. And so we go ahead and we enter what's something like that. Press enter and it works it out. Then it activates the final strip of code, which is right here. This, where we have C, as you saw right here, this sets the value of C. Like it, like the other one set the value of A, or the value of B, or the value of answer. This one sets the value of C. So if the input, or C is equal to the input, and if the input is either the enter being pressed, or stop being entered, then it will do one of two things. If it is stop, then it will exit the program, and if it is enter, then it will continue again. Now, how does it continue again? Well, simple. It uses a while loop. Now, while loops are actually pretty much exactly the same as forever loops in Scratch. So, whatever you use a forever loop in Scratch for, you can use a while loop in Python for. And it's really considered, unless another action is called upon for it to do something else, then you know. So it's actually very simple to convert other languages to certain languages if you know the meaning and what each individual command does for the language. There goes my computer fan again. So I hope this so I hope this helped you guys out. If you want, you can go ahead and you can check out my um, my profile on the Scratch website. If you are interested in getting into learning this language Python, which I've been working on, um, I do have a file that you can download at Mediafire, and I'll have a link in the description below. And then, if you do not have Python on your computer, and you download this and it does not work, simply go to this link right here, which I'll have in the description again, and simply just download the latest Python version for whatever works for your operating system. Windows, Microsoft, or not, you know, Macintosh, whatever. Alright, so I hope this helped you guys out. So if you do feel like you want to make that jump between Scratch to a different computer language, it's very easy and simple to understand. You just gotta know the basics, know the functions, and basically know how to program. Thanks for watching.